In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a CD or a DVD sleeve out of a standard 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. I'll show you a simple version that you can do really quickly, and then I'll show you a couple of extra steps to make it a little bit more stylish. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our piece of paper and we're going to locate the center point of the piece of paper along the 8.5 side of the paper. So we fold it in half. And all we need to do is pinch the top edge because all we need is this as a marker. We don't need a crease along the paper. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the disc and we're going to place it so that the exact center of the disc meets the center of the crease we just, the little pinch we made, and the edge of the paper. So we want the center of the disc right there. We're going to use that as a measuring tool so we can fold this over and you don't want it really exactly across you want it snug but not tight so get it right across right up to the edge and then back it off just a hair just to give yourself a little bit of breathing room and then as you fold it you want to make sure that these edges here line up so to make sure that your your fold is as straight as possible. And then we're going to take the other side and we're going to fold that in again going right up to the disc and then backing off just a hair. Checking this to make sure that our fold is straight. And then we're going to pull, pull the disc down into the into the sleeve and we're going to fold right at the bottom of the disc so we can just flip it over and fold this up just to where the disc ends. So this is what we're going to wind up with. Nice snug but not completely tight sleeve. Go ahead and take the disc out and then we're just going to fold this flap down over right along this edge. Make sure you don't fold it past this edge, hold it right along that edge. And then we're just going to take this flap that we just folded and we're going to tuck it in there, open this up, tuck it in. And there we have a very basic CD DVD sleeve. Now this uh, isn't very stylish so I'll give you a few more folds that you can do to make it look a little nicer. And what you can do is take this edge, fold it at a 45 degree crease, same thing with the other side, and then go ahead and take these creases and use them as a guide to fold them back inside. Now we have a little bit nicer looking model, but there's another step that we can do. We can take these corners and fold them up as well. Using the where the disc is, and I'll show you where the disc is real, real nicely, so you can see where the disc is inside the paper and just fold up at a 45 degree angle where the disc is in the in the holder. Doing your best to to match them, give them enough, keep them as 45 degree as possible like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take it's easier if you take the disc out at this point, you're going to take these creases go ahead and make them nice and tight you're going to take these creases and you're just going to open up the sides and you're going to fold, reverse fold on the that diagonal crease that you made behind into the model like this. Yep. Reverse fold. And there you have a really nice looking CD sleeve. 
Now, if you really want to impress the girls in the or origami club, you're going to have to do something a little bit better than this. And what that is, is you're going to have to do a really tricky fold known as an inside or a closed sink. And you want to close sink this flap right here, these, these diagonal flaps. You want to sink them into the back part of the model, and that will hold these sides closed. Now, the way you do a uh, closed sink is you pretty much just open this pocket here, and then you shove this point inside out. Uh, that's really messy, uh, really difficult. Trust me, I've tried. But I've discovered a really, well, I won't say easy. It's easier, but it's not easy. But it is easier way to do that. And the way we do that is we open this up, and we look at, make sure that you have this crease on the bottom. And what we're going to do is we're going to crease this like this. Just follow what I'm doing. I mean, like I said, it's easier, but it's still not easy. So, uh, and right here, see where we have this little fold here on the other side of the, the diamond on both sides? We're going to pinch those like that because we want to make sure we keep those folded a mountain fold like this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to push these diamonds together while keeping this fold and this fold like this. So we're going to push this diamond together like this. All right. Now, it's and like I said you want to keep this fold and this fold like this. All right. So, see how that looks as we and I'm I'm just going to concentrate on one side for the purpose of this. So we're going to, this is going to fold this way in like this, all right? And this little piece folds the opposite direction. And now, see how we have this angle here? And if we take a look on the inside, you see this diamond. And we want to keep this diamond together because we're going to push this up towards where we have this crease, keeping this point folded. And you see how, as I push this up, that collapses in. And this point here slides up against the bottom like that. And then we have a nice, there's, there's the, the corner. We have a nice closed sink. And that's going to keep this closed. So I'm going to show it to you again on this side now. Uh, that you've kind of seen. It's easier if you do them both at the same time. But for the purpose of the demonstration, Okay, so this is how we started with this down. And this folded in towards us, and that means we want this folded back. Like this. And that creased like that. And you see how that diamond shape, you see how that diamond shape comes together? And then we're gonna look underneath, and we're gonna take this diamond, and we're going to push it up towards where this crease is on the center. And as we do that, this little tab that we kept closed will slide in right here. Like I said, it's easier than a, a standard close sink, but it's still not easy. And then you can go ahead and tuck these flaps in. Although once you've uh, done that a couple times, it's actually fairly quick to do. Tuck those in. 
and you can take your disc, slide it in, and you have a really nice, tight, closed CD holder. And if you really want, this, this uh, nice sleeve makes it really easy to make some nice designs. Have fun.